Assembled guests, please stand. Her Excellency, the Right Honourable Dame Cindy Kiro, Governor General of New Zealand. everyone, please be seated. Kia ora tātou katoa, nau mai haramai ki te whare kawana o Tāmaki Makaurau, and I do apologise for the terrible weather. <laughs> Distinguished guests, it is a pleasure to welcome you to Government House for today's investiture ceremony. I want to specifically acknowledge Mr Joe Harawira, our kaumātua, and Mrs. Ranui Ngārimu, our kuia. Hosting investiture ceremonies is one of the most important duties that I perform on behalf of Her Majesty, the Queen of New Zealand. I'm delighted to bring together such an extraordinary group of New Zealanders. You have each brought pride and a greater sense of well-being to Aotearoa New Zealand through your outstanding achievements and your service to our communities. On behalf of all New Zealanders, I extend my sincerest thanks to you for your contributions. After each recipient is honoured, I invite you to join with me in congratulating them. Mr Ward Carmel will now summon the recipients and read their citations. Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of a companion of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Mr. Ted Manson of Auckland, for services to philanthropy, urban development and business. Ted Manson established the Ted Manson Charitable Trust, which has grown to more than $17 million and through which he has contributed to the Auckland environment. He has funded two social housing projects, providing quality housing to more than 168 families. Through the trust, he has purchased and supplied eight new 12-seater vans for low-decile schools, donated $500,000 to Auckland City Mission, given significant financial support to St John Northern Region and other organisations, and made an annual $50,000 donation to the Auckland Rescue Helicopter Via Mr Manson's company, New Zealand Mortgages and Securities Limited, he funded $2 billion of affordable housing developments. Through his company, uh, Manson's TCLM, all of the office buildings built since 2014 have been built to best practice and world leadership Green Star certified standards. Mr Ted Manson, please come forward.
Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of an officer of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Ms. Pam Alger of Auckland for services to hockey and women. Pam Alger served on the Hockey New Zealand Board, advocating for women in sport. She chaired the Human Resources Committees, instrumental in the development of a high-performance programme which resulted in the rise of the Black Sticks women to fourth in world rankings. She was a founding member of Women in Sport Aotearoa, Whisper. She is a member of the Steering Committee for the implementation of the event, chairs the Board Appointments Panel and chairs Wahine Tō Kei Te Kōkiri Committee. She was president of Oceania Hockey Federation, and under her leadership, hockey was accepted back into the Pacific Games. She is the Chief Executive Officer of Make-A-Wish Foundation New Zealand. Ms Alga was appointed an independent member of the Sports Integrity Unit for Gymnastics New Zealand. Ms Pam Alga, please come forward. Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of a member of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Mix Myra Clooney of Auckland for services to LGBTQI plus communities. Myra Clooney has been the project lead for Te Rākau Kahukura, working towards an Aotearoa where rainbow people growing up feeling safe, valued and that they belong. They co-chair Rainbow Support Service Outline, they are a member of the Professional Association for Transgender Health's Policy and Advocacy Committee and co-chair Auckland and Waitemata District Health Board's Suicide Prevention Strategy Governance Group. Their work on the Auckland Council Rainbow Communities Advisory Panel led to the introduction of all gender bathrooms, collection of data on diverse genders and including rainbow communities in several strategies. Mix Clooney has served on advisory groups for Statistics New Zealand, Ministry of Health and Te Hiringa Hauora. Mix Moira Clooney, please come forward. Ms. Anne Todd of Auckland for services to netball. Anne Todd is Finance Director of World Netball, the worldwide governing body responsible for world rankings, maintaining the rules of netball and organising the Netball World Cup and netball at the Commonwealth Games. She was an audit partner of KPMG in New Zealand and is a fellow of the New Zealand Institute of Chartered Accountants. She is a member of the Netball North Harbour Umpires Association and is an umpire coach. She is an honorary auditor of the Oceania Netball Federation and is on the boards of various not-for-profit organisations. Ms Todd is a member of the Rotary Club of Auckland and Internal Audit Committee of Rotary District 9920. Ms Anne Todd, please come forward.
Mrs. Cynthia Woolbridge of Auckland for services to dental health and education. Cynthia Woolbridge is a dental therapist and hygienist who has volunteered in Jamaica, the Dominican Republic, Mexico and the Pacific. She co-founded Family Teeth Matters Charitable Trust. She was instrumental in developing oral health educational tools for DESA One Primary Schools and kindergartens in Auckland. She consulted on two children's books with dental education messaging. She developed a stage show with characters from the books, which has been performed at schools. She chaired the Auckland New Zealand Dental Hygienists Association and was New Zealand representative to the International Federation of Dental Hygienists. Mrs. Walbridge organised the 2020 Global Dental Summit for Dental Hygienists, Dentists and Dental Therapists. Mrs. Cynthia Walbridge, please come forward. Your Excellency, to receive the Queen's Service Medal, Ms. Redemoana Norman of Auckland for services to Māori and mental health. Redemoana Norman advocated for Māori equity, developed Māori clinicians and komatua services and represented Māori on mental health forums with Counties Monaco DHB. She was District Manager Far North Mental Health and Addictions at Northland DHB. She was Director of Māori Development and Manager of Community Engagement Roles with the Mental Health Foundation of New Zealand. She chaired the Board of Trustees of Te Rau Matatini. She is Chair of Ngāti Kahu Social and Health, Trustee of Ngāti Kahu Ki Tāmaki, and Treasurer of the Pātū Marae. Ms Norman is Māori Suicide Postvention Coordinator for Manurewa Marae. Ms Redemoana Norman, please come forward. Mr. Ian Wilson of Okaiho for services to conservation. Ian Wilson is a founding member and operational manager of Puketi Forest Trust, which works to protect 5,500 hectares in Northland from pests. Mr. Wilson organises trappers, organises the drop-off of bait by helicopter, helps with working bees, keeps records of predators caught, and ensures funds are efficiently used. The Trust's activities have seen kōkako and tōtawai reintroduced and plant species have recovered. He has placed his farm under Kiwi2 Covenant and has opened public access to Bugati Forest through his property. Mr Wilson was a long-standing committee member of the Far North Branch of Forest and Bird. Mr Ian Wilson, please come forward.
Your Excellency, the investiture has concluded. New Zealand's honours system is our highest public affirmation of outstanding individual achievement. It reinforces those things that make our society better. Service, manakitanga, and the pursuit of excellence. To our recipients, it has been a privilege to hear your stories. You have each used your diverse talents and abilities to improve the lives of other New Zealanders. You exemplify the sentiment expressed by Tipuya Herangi. Mahia te mahi, he paenga mō te iwi. Do the work for the betterment of the people. I urge recipients to wear your insignia with pride at every opportunity, knowing that you inspire others by your efforts. On behalf of the Queen of New Zealand and all New Zealanders, I congratulate you on your achievements and I thank you again for your service to our country. Kia ora, huhi mai tātou katoa. Now, you will note that there are a an national anthem on the back of your programs in te reo Māori and in English. I now invite you to stand with me and sing them in both languages. Thank you. <laughs> 